Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Deb, and I'm really, really happy that you're here. We're going to take a tour of Harris Cherokee Casino and Resort in North Carolina. I'm excited to show you the casino and shops, restaurants, the entertainment center, plus the hotel and amenities. This is including a room tour in the Mountain Tower. We're going to start on the first floor of the casino. However, it is likely you're going to enter on the second floor from the parking garage and take the escalator down to the main floor. This is a large casino. It's amazing. It's 150,000 square feet of gaming and 3,200 or so slot machines and tables for games such as blackjack, roulette, let it ride, three card poker, and so much more. All soft drinks are free and alcohol is available to purchase. There are plenty of servers, so you don't even have to wait very long to get a drink. You'll see plenty of video poker at several bars, a poker room, and a sports book. On the casino first floor, there are a few restaurant options, fast food and sit down, the food court, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, and the noodle bar. There's also a shop, the Gilded Basket. At the other end, there is a multi-tainment center for bowling and arcade games. It's a cafeteria-style food court where you gather all the food and drink from all the restaurants and pay all at once before you leave. Currently, they have Johnny Rockets, Burgers and Shakes, Earl of Sandwich, Uno's Express Pizza, and Dunkin' Donuts. Snacks and drinks are also available to pick up before you check out. There's a nice size seating area with windows and TVs, a choice of high top or short table seating. if you want an adventure away from the slots. This is a neat space. Bowling alley is lit up with booth and high top table seating. A smaller bowling space is upstairs. And they have a sports bar and a bar with drinks and snacks. There's also an e-sports area for video game competitions. One of the coolest spaces is the fireside room with seating, a bar, game consoles, and floor to ceiling windows that can be open to open air in the right season. The casino second floor has a buffet, lots of shops, Brio Italian restaurant, and an event center. Brio is very nice and quiet, really lovely with the lights. Before we move to the hotel and amenities, I must mention the outside walking paths. This is really, really pretty with the water and the rocks and the trees. There's benches to sit on and it's just calming and a wonderful place to be. On the hotel first floor, there's hotel check-in, Starbucks, and Salou Garden Cafe. There's also the indoor and outdoor pool and fitness center. The hotel has three towers, the creek, the Soco, and the mountain, with 1,100 rooms, making it the largest hotel in North Carolina. There's free valley parking for guests, and they are dog friendly. There's a really unique gift shop in the Salou Garden Cafe and Sweet Shop. You can find custom and seasonal gifts, 
local jams, syrups, and soaps, and the sweet shop offers lots of fudge options. The pool offers towel vending machines. In a great space with the indoor and seasonal outdoor pool, there's a bar and cabanas. The second floor of the hotel has a gift shop, a spa, a conference center, and elevators that go to your hotel room. The conference center sits between the lobby and the elevator to the rooms. They have chairs and balconies to go outside, plus a small business center. The rooms are surprisingly spacious, much larger than most hotel rooms. This is a mountain tower room. Comfortable beds with higher end bedding, a very contemporary feel. Closet has a safe, an iron, and a luggage rack, and there's a large bathroom with a separate water closet. There seems to be USB charge ports everywhere, on both sides of the entertainment center, on the desk lamp, on the bedside lamp, and alarm clock. There shouldn't be a problem charging everything that you need. Overall, very clean, very spacious, and very modern. In summary, I like this casino, hotel, and all the amenities. I can't wait to go back. Just some things to point out that I liked about it. There's no resort fee. There's no parking fee. The rooms are modern and clean. There's free valet for guests. They have a good variety of slots, and there are many new slot games. There's a couple things I would mark for consideration. It's a little walk to the casino from your room, and drinks are not free. They're on the pricier side. For example, a Draft Miller Lite is about $5 from that bar, and the casino may seem crowded. But overall, I don't think any of those are a deal breaker. And that's the end of our tour today. I hope you enjoy your stay and thank you so much for coming along.